Hello again. I wanted to remind those of you who didn't know that、um, we have quite a long series of orthodontists in the family. My father was an orthodontist. I am an orthodontist, or was before I retired, and my son Mike is also an orthodontist. This, in a way, has given us a sort of cumulative knowledge of over a hundred years of dentistry. My father started his training in 1914, and、um, I am now retired. But Michael is still learning, along with me as well.、Um, this has really affected my attitude on the approach. To orthodontics, because my father used to start treatment at the age of five, six, or seven, and mainly to prevent the malocclusion developing by widening the upper jaw, which is quite easy to do at that age because the jaws are very soft. But when I went to school,、uh, graduate school, that is, I was told that never to expand because it always relapses, and so dutifully I didn't do that. However, my father died quite young, and I then studied his results, and to my amazement, I found yes, lots of them. Had relapsed, some of them quite severely, but some of them hadn't relapsed much, and a few had continued to widen. As you can imagine, this really surprised me. So I then developed a new system of treatment, which I call orthotropics, to try and guide the growth. Of young children from the age of five or six onwards,、um, this is more lengthy than the standard methods of treatment. But I've always felt that prevention is better than cure. Now, my son felt he wanted the public to know the truth about. The guidance of growth from very a very young age, and he put up a series of、um, videos on YouTube, and I later joined him. And between us, we have done oh, I should say, well over a hundred. They're trying to guide patients, and、um, so that they don't rush into orthodontic treatment,、uh, or particularly start orthodontic treatment、um, too late. At the age of thirteen to fifteen. Now, sadly, I have had to criticise my colleagues because I really think that、um, uh, curing the problem is much less good than preventing it.、Um, firstly, fixed appliances.、Um, in my experience, they always damage the teeth. Um, my colleagues tell me not much, but sometimes it's very severe. People lose teeth quite young, or they may lose them maybe ten years earlier than they would have otherwise lost them.、Um, the other disadvantage of fixed appliances is, in my view, they damage the appearance of the face, and of course they do tend to relapse after treatment. But we should also consider the methods that many orthodontists currently use of widening the upper jaw. They do this with adults using processes where they have to screw、um, the appliances into the bone in order to get enough force, and this will break the two halves of the upper jaw apart. I think this is quite horrific. I use very, very gentle forces, which separate them a tiny bit at a time until they have grown apart. Which, of course, is the concept of orthotropics. But also there are alternatives such as Invisalign, which avoid fixed appliances altogether. But these too have disadvantages.、Um, if you 
have a very crowded mouth, you will widen it and lengthen it, which is an advantage. But again, it won't stay there unless you correct your posture afterwards. But if it's not badly crowded, then if you use Invisalign, it doesn't lengthen the arch in the same way, so that as you widen it, it tends to pull back the upper front teeth. You can imagine this lengthens the face, and even a few millimetres of lengthening will make a, a severe a difference to the jaw relationships and can spoil the, the appearance of the face as well. Now, just recently, I should say within the last three months, I've noticed that there have been many videos put up by orthodontists, I think possibly in response to those put up by Michael and myself, basically saying why extractions are necessary and the advantages of orthodontics. But of course, um, they don't actually mention the problems that I have just discussed. And Invisalign sometimes causes um, the jaws to become completely out of proper relationship, so that the patient having gone in to have their teeth just straightened a little bit, finally is told they need to have their jaws cut and repositioned. Um, I just think you need to be careful about what you believe on YouTube, and including, of course, what I say myself. Give it some thought, and best of luck. Thank you.